Welcome Cancer to your weekly reading. This is for the 14th to the 21st of October. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Cancer, I'm starting off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row are your possible challenges, if any. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fifth row is the possible energy ending the week. Cancer, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with Four of Pentacles and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we want to see now what Four of Pentacles is for Cancer, please. And we have the King of Swords. Cancer, you are coming through at the beginning of the week, presenting as King of Swords. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine, it is the energy of King of Swords I am speaking about. And I feel, my dear Cancers, that at the beginning of the week, when it comes to your pentacles, your finances, your money, your investments, your home, career, job, anything like that, you're looking at it from a very smart, logical, practical point of view. It's like you're taking everything under review. Where can you save? What can you cut out? What's not working? Do you have any debts you need to take care of? How can you take care of them? When can you sort it out? Is it possible to increase your revenue somehow? And with our King of Swords energy, you're not letting your emotions cloud your judgment. You're looking at everything very smartly, very analytically. And my dear Cancers, with King of Swords coming in, I think you're going to take big, strong steps forward in sorting any areas out that you feel are not working for you. So this is what we are seeing at the beginning of the week. Let us move on now and see what Ace of Swords is all about that is sitting in the area you should focus on. So we want to see now what Ace of Swords is for Cancer, please. And we have got Eight of Wands. Cancer, Ace of Swords is a very positive card to get and I do feel it's very connected to the way you are managing things this week. This strong, powerful, analytical, go-getting energy. By working with our King of Swords energy, you have the Ace of Swords coming in, which is our sword energy repeating, giving you, my dearest Cancerians, the breakthrough, the insight, and the ideas and clarity you need right now in order to move forward quickly and swiftly. And with Eight of Wands coming in here, Cancer, the more you work with our King of Swords energy, not only when it comes to your pentacles, but because it's coming through again with our Ace of Swords energy, I think by looking at your entire life with this clarity is going to give you great insight on your direction forward, on decisions you need to make. So Cancerians, it even could be reviewing relationships in your life be it work relationships, friendships, family relationships, what needs to change, what needs to be adjusted. And this is where you put all your focus and attention. And my dear Cancerians, with Ace of Swords coming through here, I think you're going to be highly successful by working with this energy and things will move fast and effectively for you with Eight of Wands. A simple example of this, my dear Cancerians, is that you identify a certain area where you feel you might be wasting a lot of money. It could be that you're buying lunch every day or four cappuccinos every day. It could be that you're spending money on online 
gambling or online games in some way and you decide, you know what, I'm taking that money and I'm putting it aside. I'm not spending it anymore. And you make a strong decision with eight of wands coming in here. We see that you feel the effects of this very quickly. And before you know it, your money starts to accumulate and you perhaps have an extra hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars or pounds, whatever it is per month. My dear Cancerians, this could be the decision you make that you're not going to be spending hours a day chatting and gossiping to your friends. You're going to take that time to do something that's good for you. Either exercise, read a good book, maybe learn something new online. And before you know it, you're going to feel positive effects from your decision. So however this relates to you, my dear Cancerians, this is what you focus on because before you know it, you're going to see the effects of it take place in a positive way. Now let us move on and see what your possible challenges might be and I'm just going to clarify Page of Cups. Right, let us see now what Page of Cups is for Cancer. And we have the Four of Wands. My dearest Cancerians, with Page of Cups and the Four of Wands coming out here, I do not feel that you have any big challenges coming up this week. As a matter of fact, I do feel that there is wonderfully good and surprising news on its way to you. So much so, my dear Cancerians, that whatever this news is, it brings you in to Four of Wands energy. So this could just be wonderful news you hear regarding some aspect of your life that you want to go out and celebrate. It also could be, my dear Cancerians, that you hear good news regarding something to do with your home, moving or traveling. This could be the energy, my dear Cancerians, of finding that perfect apartment or perfect house. This could be good news regarding anything, my dear Cancerians, because whatever it is that is coming through, with our Four of Wands card, which is our 1111 card, it's going to raise your vibration. So straight away, whatever is coming through, whatever this news is, you're going to feel great after hearing it. And of course, it will come through cancer in an area that's relevant to you. Could be something to do with work, with your business, with your family. What we are seeing here, my dear cancers, is good news is on its way to you. Now let us see what Seven of Cups is all about, that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. So we want to see now what Seven of Cups is for Cancer, please. The Sun. Oh, how lovely, Cancer. Cancer Spirit is coming in and asking you right now, not to give up on your dreams. Simple as that, my dear Cancerians. I feel for some of my Cancerians, there might be one or perhaps even more particular dream that has just remained up there in the spiritual realm that hasn't manifested. And Spirit is asking you not to give up, not to let go of this dream or dreams. This is not the time to give up, my dear Cancerians, because there is still great possibility of whatever this might be for you. Now, as you can imagine, this is going to be very personal. If you, my dear Cancerians, have dreamt, say, for example, of finding a job that you earn a good salary, that you're able to live comfortably and save every month, Spirit is saying, don't give up on that dream. If you, my dear Cancerians, have been dreaming about meeting a significant person to have a long-term relationship with and there's been no one in sight for months even years spirit saying don't give up my dearest cancerians with the sun coming out here this dream is still viable there is a lot of possibility around it and right now all you need to do is just keep believing. That is what Spirit is asking you to do. Because if you keep the belief and the hope alive, it will enable this particular dream not to fade into the ether. 
keeps the energy growing and expanding. And before long, my dear Cancerians, you never know what can transpire. And I feel that for some of my Cancerians, this good news could really be connected to what we are seeing here. So something might just come through. Maybe it's just being asked out on a date and the date goes really well. It could be you get a call to come through for an interview and the interview goes very well. Whatever it is, keep your dream alive. With the sun coming out, Cancer, nothing is lost. There's an enormous amount of possibility here. Let's move on now and see the possible ending to the week. And I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we want to see now what the world is for Cancer, please. The Eight of Swords. I do feel, my dear Cancerians, by the end of the week, you're going to feel so much better. This Eight of Swords is very connected to our Four of Pentacles and it's just coming through here letting me know that some of my Cancerians have been feeling this Eight of Swords energy for some time with regards to this particular area. And this, my dear Cancerians, is the energy of I've got no options. There's no choices open or available to me. And you can't see your way out of a situation. Whether it has to do with your money, your career or finances, feeling as though you'll never find any kind of financial freedom or a financial answer. And as I mentioned, this could also be coming through in a relationship, whether you're battling with your significant other, or something going on at work within the family, or just, my dear Cancerians, feeling very stuck and isolated. With the world coming out, my dear Cancerians, there's a wonderful shift coming through and once again I do feel it is very connected to this unexpected energy. It allows you to close off a chapter which is our Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles and begin something new that's bringing you towards the Sun energy. Use the King of Swords energy. Work with this Ace of Swords, my dearest Cancerians. Don't let your emotions run away with you. Be strategic. Think everything through. Don't be rash or spontaneous. Before you know it, my dear Cancerians, things are going to change quickly, swiftly for you, bringing you into four of wands and the sun. Wonderful to see Cancer. Right, let's move on now and see what your angels would like to share with you. So, just want to see now what Cancer's angels would like to share with them, please. And you have got perfect timing. Cancer, this is a lovely message coming through from your angels because the timing is spot on now for you to bring this all into being. Cancer, your angels are letting you know that divine timing is on your side. This is the perfect week to work with King of Swords energy. Work with what our Ace of Swords is all about for you. Taking that sword from the hand of God. Getting that breakthrough. So you can see clearly what this is all about for you. That you are now able to take that sword and release yourself from any binds that tie you. Take off that blindfold and see your way forward. There is something new opening up for you. And for many of my Cancerians, it will be a physical energy. And for a lot of my Cancerians, you're going to feel this shift within you. It's like you're breaking out of some kind of feeling of being trapped, enclosed, like being in a small box. And then all of a sudden, it's like you are in the big wide world where anything now is possible and you can focus and concentrate on what you want to see and manifest. Cancer, this is going to be a good week. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I am sending you all so much love.